in. We're getting things ready for the uh, meat chickens. When are they going to be here? This Friday. Are we going to be here? Nope. We're going to be in the mountains. No, we're not going to be here. So we are working diligently on getting everything set up. And as you can see, we have a big trough basically is what this is. So we have 25 on the way. They will be here Friday. Um, we are setting up heat. We've set up food and we are going to get the water done as well now we have someone that's going to come down here and help um, with our chickens but since we won't be here but i decided to help make it easier on them to go ahead and have everything set up and ready so when miss patty from alderman farms because we went in with Miss Patty from Alderman Farms. They live right down the road from us. And we bought our meat birds together because you get a price break at 50. So we got 25 and she got 25. So we went in and half the cost. And she's actually going to pick up our birds from the post office when they're delivered. But we're going to have family members here. So we want to have everything ready. So it's very easy for them. Since we're not going to be here, we're going to be gone. So we basically set our big um, trough up with, with wood shavings, pine shavings. And um, we have food in there. We have, we're going to have water in there, which I'm going to probably do late tonight. So it will be kind of fresh by Friday morning and then we're gonna have the heat in there um so we're super excited about that um this will be a purchase for us that did you put apple cider vinegar in it baby okay um so this will be a purchase for us um where we're gonna do our own meat from the chickens and this will be our very first harvest of meat that will be coming from our farm. So that's going to be putting us butchering right around Christmas. But it is what it is. It will be good and cold outside, which is, is beneficial that it will be cold because bacteria, you have less bacteria and stuff the colder it is. Um, and processing will typically go pretty fast. Um, they have to be refrigerated at a certain temperature within a certain time so i'm sure it'll be nice and cold so that will work to our benefit but we have just got that set up and we are running off to do our chores for today before we have some church activities and our live tonight so if y'all don't tune in with us on wednesday night on our lives we love to be able to talk back and forth with people conversate give updates on our farm and also um, to find out what's going on in your life, what's going on on your farm or your homestead, or if you don't have a farm or a homestead, we like to hear about your future goals and your expectations of things that you want to do and dreams that you have and the steps that you're taking for that. So if you don't catch us um, on Wednesday night on live, be sure to do that. Um, I think you'll have just as a great time as we do. Um, so let's go run and start our chores because we've got to roll out really early in the morning. Um, this Y'all will catch this video a few days after. Um, we might even be on our way back, but this is where we're at today. Uh, we're doing up our chores because we've got to pull out at 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Y'all come along with us. First things first, and that is we have to fill up our feed buckets, which are in our shop. So that's what we're fixing to work on right now. Sorry about that I hit the camera with the water hose and knocked it over and it jarred the camera so much that the battery slid out so I had to fix all that and we are almost done but not quite <laughs> well guys that really wraps us up for today um, 
most exciting part definitely is getting ready for our meat chickens. Um, all the chores around here have been done for today. We'll be heading out super early in the morning. Um, the only other thing we have to do is feed the cats and dogs. And all of our chores are done. It has been a super exciting um, time. Uh, even though you've seen our struggle with the ones that we've lost, things that we've learned, but looking on to new things to come. Um, it's rained a lot here, so so much of our stuff, especially our soil block stuff that y'all have seen in our raised beds looks so good. So um, there's no kind of water like the water from above and um, rain water. And, um, so I'm excited just to see in the days that we're gone how much our stuff is going to grow and how awesome it's going to look when we get back. Um, but that wraps us up for today. Uh, preparing for our meat chickens and getting our chores done around the house before we head out tomorrow. So thank y'all for joining us as we run around and scramble and try to get the last minute things done. And happy homesteading y'all.